everywhere rejoice. AMD have lifted the cover on the newest edition to the 3D Vcache lineup of desktop CPUs with this, the new AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D. So now we've had a bit of time with it, have AMD taken the performance crown again or have they fallen short of keeping the top spots? Well, before we reveal that, let's give you a quick overview of the headlines with this new chip. It's got eight Zen 5 cores, 16 threads, 5.2 gigahertz turbo out of the box, 120 watt TDP, and most importantly, 104 megabytes of cache. So now you've caught up on the specs, let's take a quick look at this chip's competitors. Starting with the previous generation 3D CPUs also from AMD. From the like-for-like -like Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which on paper looks to be essentially the same thing, with similar headlines of 8 cores and 16 threads, with 5 gigahertz turbo and 96 megabytes of cache, but with the same 120 watt TDP. Right up to the top of the stack from the previous gen, the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. With its 16 cores, 32 threads, 5.7 gigahertz turbo, and massive 144 megabytes of cache. Now, the standout feature for the 9800X 3D is the new Zen 5 architecture, which promises to improve upon the already mighty powerful Zen 4 architecture from the previous gen. Less of all that, though, let's get to what you're really here for the performance. Cross referencing with some benchmarking data from the lovely people at Kit Guru. Nothing really gets close to the 9800X 3D. As you can see from Total War Pharaoh, which would ordinarily be quite CPU intense, simulating those different battles in real time, average FPS at 1080p ultra settings was a massive 328 at stock speeds, a huge 60 FPS increase from the previous beastly 16 core Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. The same is apparent across the board such as Cyberpunk gaining a 17 FPS increase from the previous top performer, the 7800X 3D. And this is all well and good, but if the chip can't keep up with the performance without getting way too hot and slowing itself down to manage temperatures, this is called thermal throttling. So let's take a quick look at the trade-off for this incredible gaming performance. In an air-conditioned test environment set at 25 degrees Celsius, the 9800X 3D does not disappoint in this regard, averaging at full load a perfectly respectable 75 degrees Celsius, leaving more than enough headroom for the CPU to turbo right up and maintain maximum performance. It's worth mentioning now, however, that whilst it looks like a no-brainer upgrade, this top-of-the-chart performance is exclusive to gaming, as we can see here with a synthetic Cinebench R23 multi-core benchmark, to which we can see the performance of the 9800X 3D plummet, landing it between the previous gen Intel Core i5-14600K and the current Core Ultra 5-245K. For a deeper dive into more details, we strongly suggest going over to Kit Guru, who very kindly helps us with some performance data, and the link to their review is in the description below for you. Looping back to the start of this video though, does AMD keep their performance crown? Well, not only do they keep it, they've raised the bar more than anyone expected. With all that being said though, if you need your machine to excel at multi-core tasks such as media creation, simulation and AI, it might be worth crossing your fingers for a potential Ryzen 9 9950X 3D to truly get the best of both worlds. As recent years have taught us though, as this is the bar none top performer in games, the demand is through the roof at the moment and stock is scarce at the time of recording. We have put a link in the description to the product page so you can add it to your wish list to make keeping tabs on it that little bit easier. So what do you think? Will you be upgrading or will you be waiting for more entries into the Ryzen 9000 Series X 3D family? Why not let us know in the comments below? And whilst you're there, Leave us a like if you enjoyed this video. And again, a huge thank you to Kit Guru for providing some numbers to compare.